Okay, ready for the third one here. Feels like rain now. doesn't quite want to go as well as the other ones. Got some fur mixed up with the pine here, and I think the fur was a little bit wetter. Well, it's knee high, but it's uh, knee high long ways, so I'll let it go a little bit more. I don't want to get counted down on the last one here because I it's quite high enough. This is what you call one of those slow ones. Must be that fur that's mixed up in it. This is fur here. I just broke off a piece. Sometimes you get lucky and you get splinters like this and you just peel it off. Uh, another way to do this type of fire with the pocket knife. I definitely wouldn't suggest using the pocket knife if you don't have to. This took forever. You can see the clouds that come in and it's going to start raining and uh, possibly anyway. So it's taken a long time. Uh, three or four hours anyway. You can see it's knee high now. Thank you. Well, I kind of wanted to show you why we have three times the amount of prep. Um, you can see prep from, uh, well, that's just extra wood right there. That's the third fire's prep, and of course, the fire is out uh, pretty much by the water bottles is the uh, second fire's prep 
and then didn't use a whole lot or else I made more on the uh, first fire but that's all the prep left and uh, it uh, it's really a good idea to have more than enough it's worth it it's worth the extra work